Hello guys, this is Dr. Murli Bharadwaj, your mentor for the PG Medical Preparation. I am at uh, Mumbai Airport. I am returning after a day-long cardiology review session for a group of students in Mumbai. A lot of medical teachers like me may be doing the same thing at the same time across the country. But while returning, I can never forget the tears in the eyes of one of my students, Dr. Kavita Meenan. Her story is the story of most of the medical students who are preparing for the PG Medical. She got AIMS 500 plus rank in May 2013. She finished her housemanship in 2013 March. The PGA rank was 400 plus in June 2013 and in November 2013 when the All India she has taken, her rank was 2000 plus. Once more, in November 2013 her AIMS rank had been 600 plus and in the November the PGA rank was 300 plus. In February when the state entrance had been conducted, she got 200 plus rank but her ambition is to do pediatrics and she did not get. Then in April 2014, unfortunately her father had a acute MI and in May 2014, she once more joined as a duty doctor. Now, the life is at crossroads. This is the story of most of the scenarios of the students who prepare for the MD entrance. So I thought of penning few of my thoughts about what makes your preparation a great preparation for the PG Medical. Now the journey to get PG Medical seat is a path of uh, twists and turns is what you need to be quite sure about. The process is a test for your strength and will ultimately about the success in MD entrance. But the chances that you are going to be a different person at the end of all this race is that definitely are there that you will be a different person from what you were when you have started your preparation. Before you started the preparation for the PG medical entrance, you must be quite sure that your life is going to be heading in a totally new path for the next six months. But I am saying only six months. Your life is going to be dominated by endless amount of reading covering all the 19 subjects of the entire four and a half years of the medical school stuff. But there should be only one dream in your heart. Ek khwab, MD Banneki. Only dream that should be the driving force for you. There are thousands of MCQs that you are going to practice in the next six months and coaching classes. I sometimes wonder, are they really different from the concentration camps of the war time? For those who wanted to take coaching classes, you need to get ready to lend your ears for long hours of didactic discourses of the day-long review lectures. You can't sleep in a coaching class, but you suffer from the narcolepsy syndrome because the entire night is your self-preparation in the morning time you are in a drowsy coaching class, but that is inevitable. PGMD entrance is basically a fight between you and the load of facts. The lot of lists and lists and lists, meaningless lists, meaningful lists that you need to ultimately remember, reproduce assimilate to face the entrance exam. But tell me, as the doctors, are we not prepared for the everyday challenges which are much bigger than this challenge called as the PG medical entrance? Yes. As the doctors, we push beyond what is considered to be the normal human limit. You need to be quite sure about doctor. And as the doctors, we work for hours away from the families. 
if you are a cardiothoracic surgeon or if you are a busy cardiologist very little time that your baby can ever be able to have a warm hug and sleep with you but you are prepared for all that as the doctors we work long hours ultimately to achieve professional excellence as the doctors we strive hours together ultimately to get that perfection so that we can be able to serve the tender care to the patients patients are our world and we live in the world of the patients for the next 50 years of our life india has 30000 post graduate medical junior residents doctor they are serving in 1200 teaching hospitals and ultimately for what they have become post graduates today all your classmates who cracked the md entrance after passing through a trauma are doing day and night the night duties as the post graduates in various residences so why did we fight for this pg medical entrance battle it is for the privilege of those sleepless 36 hours of non stop nonsense duties and it is for the privilege of subscribing ourselves to a saintly life and this noble undertaking comes with a very high cost and we are preparing for all that the cost of being underpaid for the entire 3 years of the md with a meager stipend during the md residency and the 3 years of md post graduation the residents are the work hearts of any teaching hospital at the end of the day ultimately you need to remember that there is no better reward than the ability to heal today the top consultants they all have passed through the same pg medical entrance trauma the filter and the three years of residency and the satisfaction they get every day in and day out when they are treating the patients there is no comparison for that happiness doctor the pg medical entrance today is more competitive and more demanding and more challenging than what it was 10 years ago today there is a relative comparison computer based exam and a lot of facts to remember the students cry about remembering numerical facts and mundane trivial details rapid sand filter what is the sand particle size that also you need to remember what is the toxic dosage of digitalis that also you need to remember what is the long list of p450 uses that also you need to remember oh my god lot of details to remember it is more frustrating especially for those who are taking the second time third time and fourth time the pg medical entrance test takers it is much bigger challenge but please remember if you failed in your early exam that there are only just few more steps for you to walk for you to ultimately get the eventual success so doctor wake up the success in all india post graduate md entrance is waiting just for you doctor and once you become a consultant you're going to be the part of the most advanced medical science interventions on the planet in your time you're going to participate in robotic surgeries and many many more things as a consultant just live in that dream but one good news i like to share to all of you doctor 80% of pg medical entrance stoppers they got in their second third or even fourth attempt tortoise definitely wins but don't tell the tortoise that it won the last year's marathon the poor creature will disappoint many pg entrance stoppers do you think they are very brilliant guys no doctor they are all that rapping rocking average guys who had their mbbs aggregate scores below 55% trust me many pg medical entrance stoppers a good number of them even had failure in mbbs exams remember the microsoft chief he said i failed in some subjects in exam but my friend passed it on now he is an engineer in microsoft and i am the owner of the microsoft 
is the best example. The PG Medical Entrance Stopper who got 3000 plus rank in the previous year exam, ultimately they got in the top 100 ranks. I have got hundreds of examples like that among my own students. And many students who started their preparation freshly in Ju July, still they could be able to make it to the top 100 ranks in October and November. So there's a reason whether it is love or battle, better to start late than to be never. Late start, but I wish that you need to have a great end. And even PHC government doctors, once you work in PHC for a few number of years, you are almost outdated. But still they could, do, they could also be able to make it to the top 100 ranks in MD entrance. Please trust me. Many women doctors, they raised their families, they made their children to go to school and after 10 to 15 years also once more they re-entered the competition and made it to the top 100 ranks in the PG medical entrance. It's a question of how thick is your adrenal, it is not about how sharp is your brain. And there are a good number of doctors, 5 to 6 years, they have wasted time in USMLE preparation. Ultimately, unable to get the residency, they are deported back to India and they once more sat, forgotten the past and prepared and they got into the top 100 ranks in All India MD entrance. There are doctors who went to Russia, China, Philippines. They all came back. Once more, they cleared their MCI screening tests and ultimately they are also in the top 100 ranks. And remember doctor, Thousands of doctors became MD before you. Millions of patients are treated by your seniors from times immemorial. Thousands of medical students before you, they have mastered the art of medicine and practiced the skills in the most demanding situations. Thousands will come after you. And thousands are almost ready after you in their final year MBBS once more to get into the game of PG medical preparation, they are going to become postgraduates. And thousands are getting ready in their school to become doctors like you and ultimately go for the PG medical entrance. But remember, now it is your turn. Seize this opportunity to overtake the competition and you win. And this experience of winning the PG medical exam makes you a different person and when you succeed the All India Postgraduate Medical Entrance, you will emerge to become a stronger individual than what you are. You will experience an euphoria and the joy that comes with that incredible accomplishment and all the joy of winning the All India Postgraduate Medical Entrance after long hours of hard work is beyond the human narration. You will feel the joy just not once on the first day of your MD residency. You are going to re have it once more. You will feel the joy the first time you have done an intervention. You did an endotracheal intubation or you have done a coronary angiogram or you have done a 2D echo for the first time. You are going to rejoy. And you are going to have the joy First time when you have done the presentation as a postgraduate case presentation in the MD residency. And you are going to have the joy when you bid the farewell, well, your patient on whom you have operated as a resident of surgery, he is bidding farewell to you. And you are going to have the joy when the diagnosis missed by the entire medical unit, including your professor. And you have made that diagnosis and that gave the U-turn in the patient's clinical course. You are going to have the joy. And you are going to have the joy when you are declared past in the final MD with all your unit mates who are bidding farewell. Each of them joining as consultants in different cities across the India. And in this game, you are not alone, doctor. While you are listening to me right away, there are countless of people who are embarking on the same journey of preparation, applications, 
and going for the PG medical entrance. There are about 1 lakh postgraduate medical aspirants across India who are dreaming the same beautiful dream. And remember doctor, as you climb the Mount Everest of PG medical preparation, you help others to climb for the same goal. And I promise you doctor, there are others who wanted to help you the same way. And one final note I want to give to all the PG medical aspirants. Please don't let these exams define you. Please don't let these exams define you. PG Medical Entrance, All India, PGB is just after all an exam. You hear others saying, hey dude, I topped the exam already. You're my senior guy. What are you still doing? Don't worry about whatever the others are commenting upon you. Don't allow the others to determine your value. You have an opportunity to ultimately control your own destiny, doctor. And one of our senior medicine professor, he told us on the first day of our MD residency, you MD resident guys, I'm looking for the good doctors here, not the PG medical entrance toppers. Forget all your high yield fact stuff, your MCQs at your reading rooms and treat every patient of me as a high yield case. Absolutely true, doctor. Nigaho me manzil hai. Gire aur girkar sambhalte rahe. Hawaon ne bahut koshish ki. Magar chirag andhiyon me bhi chalte rahe. I am able to see the destination. I am able to rise every time I am falling. Though the storm tried its best, but the light of the hope is still on. So docs, text me anytime, anywhere, for any help for the PG medical preparation. I am born to help you. And I have only one mission in life, that is to help you. This is Dr. Murli Bhardwaj. And I can only do one thing perfectly in my life, that is to read, to prepare, to teach and inspire all of you to ultimately achieve the dream that you wanted to become an MD. Thank you, Doctor.